Hello PC Physics, welcome to modeling a magnetic field. So if you have a magnet like this and a compass, there's a cool way we can visualize the area that surrounds the magnet and how magnets do what they do. So today, if you follow the instructions for the worksheet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace what we call the magnetic field. And all you need is a pen, compass, magnet. So the compass, as we all know, has a little needle that likes to point towards magnet things like the earth or a permanent magnet or an electromagnet. Now you have to figure out your personal compass because every compass has different color codes. For this example, the red side is pointing at blue and the white side is pointing at red. For today, I'm gonna say that the white side is forward, but does it matter? Not at all. So when we do this, if I want to kind of visualize what's going on, I could mark a dot at the front and where I started and draw an arrow towards where white was pointing. Now, if I put the compass at the end of the arrow, I can see that my compass is now going this way, not quite the same angle, a little bit like this. And I can continue tracing where the compass points as it goes away from the magnet. And you might notice that further and further away, it has less of a reaction. It takes longer to figure out. And we wanna do a couple of these so we can figure out what the compass does around the magnet. And so we're gonna make lines like this And it takes longer the further away you are from the magnet. But you can see what's going on with the magnets and the compasses. Let's do some over here, get a little, good picture. Perfect. So you might be starting to see a pattern and that's the goal of today of modeling, visualizing, ooh, just exactly what the heck these magnets are doing. And so hopefully by now you're starting to see a pattern. And so what scientists do for modeling magnetic fields or the area that surrounds a magnet is they draw these lines, what we call magnetic field lines. Um, Oh, these arrows are backwards, oops. I forgot my convention for today that white was forward. So this is kind of what's going on. And if I wanted to add way more arrows, they would start to see it look like this. And I would draw little arrowheads to remind myself which way it was going. And so in general, you can draw a magnetic field like this. Part of the activity today was also seeing how two magnetic fields, when I bring a second magnet, might interact. So let's do those two. First, let's do two attracting magnets. So we have seen from our exploring magnets that a red side and a blue side like to come together. Let's see what goes on in between them according to the compass. So I'm gonna put the compass right there and I can see again, the white is gonna be forward. So we're gonna go like that. Oh, it's also straight there. Oh, it's a straight line from the blue to the red. What about just off straight? I go this way, that way. Oh, oh, it's going in. So you just wanna kind of figure out what the heck is happening what is going on? Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, in here. And so we can kind of see a pattern forming. And if you wanted to continue the whole area around both magnets, the thing is over here, this magnet, the north and the south, they start to get 
a similar kind of pattern that we saw before. It's only the between part that has really changed. And I would see a similar thing over here. I'm skipping doing this part because you know what? This is a video and you don't need to wait and watch me do all the things. And also, the more you study these, the more you recognize this pattern that the magnet compass relationship is that outside in the area around a magnet, things wanna go towards one side which we as scientists have called north. And they wanna go away from another side, which we call south. And so you can see a kind of a pattern forming and it would flow around the whole thing. Now let's see two magnets that don't like each other. They're trying to push apart. Okay, south and south face each other. What is going on in between, because again, that's where it's gonna be different. These sides over here, they're gonna look the same as the last picture. Okay, remember white is forward. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna follow this guy. He's gonna go around. gonna go like that. What about kind of more in between? Ooh, let's go right in between. Okay, so, oh, whoa, did you see that? I barely lifted it and it immediately tried to go straight this way. Oh, straight up, straight up, still straight up. Oh, it's going straight away. What about over here? Oh, this one is going this way. And if I try to get at the end, it also joins this line and goes up, 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 straight away from the page. What about slightly on the bottom side? Okay, we've got this guy. Oh, it's doing basically a reverse of what I just saw when I was slightly above the middle down here on the bottom. And so you'll see this pattern go around just like before, that everything wants to go away from the blue, which we say is the south, and they wanna to go towards the red, which we call the north. And so this is a general pattern you can draw that scientists call a magnetic field line pattern. Really, it's just a visual that helps us model or see what would happen to a compass or other metal thing when it's nearby. And so hopefully these models help you um, try and answer the questions in your packet and good luck.